it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just coming on to do a project share today. I am working on a circus themed swap and I have the mini album here, which was one of the requirements and a memory decks card, which was one of the requirements. So I thought I would show you both. Um, they did have a tutorial on just how to make a mini album in general, but I wanted to um, do a circus theme more. Um, than just a regular mini album book. So I googled, I think I googled circus mini album and it brought me to a video that showed me how to make something like this. So it is adorable. It is a circus tent. I absolutely love it. Um, the video that I followed, I'm going to link it down below. It is in Spanish. Um, so I wasn't able to um, understand what she was saying, but I just kind of followed along and did what she did. Um, so let me just take you through the front of it. So the first thing I have here are these um, one inch binder rings here that I had gotten off of Amazon and I tied each one with just two pieces of coordinating fabric. Um, I have a pink and a yellow. This side, oops, is also a pink and a yellow. There was only, oh no, there was I was thinking there was only three of each color, but this, this one had more. I just decided to use the two. So I have those two there. I have a little flag up on the top with a little bulb pin up here with a tassel and a button on it. I have that connected on the back with a straw and hot glue. And then I just put this strip over it just to cover it um, so it didn't look too ugly. Um, I have my information down there below. Um, I did a lot of sewing on the front. Each one of these is um, a separate panel that I sewed together. Um, and then I outlined the entire thing with a single thread. The middles were um, sewn together with uh, zigzag thread. They are shakers. So you can see the sequin mix in there. And then I just layered with just a bunch of fun candy pieces, buttons, flowers, um, some rickrack here, uh, there's some leaves here, some more candy pieces, a little soda bottle here uh, with, again, I just sprinkled um, um, sequins all over it to kind of look like confetti. So that is the outside of it. Like I said, I'm super thrilled with how it turned out. Um, I This tutorial is super adorable, so I'll link it down below, like I said, if you want to just watch it um, and see what she did. So you open it up. I've got a clear, I, don't, I can't get the whole thing in frame, so I'll just kind of start over here. So I've got a clear pocket here um, from the Target dollar spot. I just backed it on a piece of paper from the carousel collection. I put a bunch of different tickets in here that um, my recipient can use um, to decorate her album. So I have all of those in there. I have a little patch here that says sweet. I added a little bit of, um, trim on the bottom here. There you go. I've got a little tab here. I did a little grommet or a little eyelet with a bulb pin up on top here too. Um, just as a little something extra so then that can hang down like that. This side I just glued um, two little hearts on in the corner here and this is actually a tuck spot. I might put something in here so she knows it's a little bit of a tuck spot. Um, then these these front pages are the only ones that are single pages. They were double-sided, so I kept them single. Everything else is a pocket. So everything else has a piece of paper. I shouldn't say everything. I did, I think, half the pockets I filled. The other half she can put what she would like in. But I put a little um, ribbon tag on it so she knows to pull. Um, I'm like try and get that back in there. I have each of the pocket pages sewn together with gold thread. Like I said, this just goes in here. There we go. Um, and then that just kind of sticks up a little bit there. So I have the wood grain. These are all carousel. Um, actually, this one is not. This is just something I had in my collection, but this is all carousel paper. I have one of the little um, Converse tennis shoes here that I made. I've got another little tab, um, and that opens as like a flip spot there. Um, here I've just got a little rickrack and, sorry, let me move it over, a little rickrack and a little candy embellishment there turn these pages. Again, I've got this little pocket here that they can pull out and put um, ephemera or uh, pictures in. 
I put a little envelope here that I decorated with just a couple tickets and then I just put some little tiny doilies in there. Here I have another flip spot. I just decorated it with some ribbon, a little tab and a button and then that flips up. I have these, I didn't put paper in here but they are pockets. So those are those two pockets. This one, I took a piece of paper from the uh, Carousel Collection. Uh, this was a um, ephemera piece from the digital kit and I just printed it on a large piece of paper and it came out like this, but I think it's gorgeous. And this is a little tuck spot here too that I put some more doilies in. Just added some sequins here and there. Uh, a little rickrack here. This has a little bit of pink trim on the bottom. I added a butterfly. Here's a little a tuck spot here. Um, added a little swan embellishment with a doily. Um, a little sneaker again here. Uh, this is a pocket. Again, these are our both pockets here. Um, this print is just from my collection. Uh, the zebra print is carousel. Here's another little pocket. Again, I've got a little tag here. Tag here. And then this is the last page, so I have glitter on this page. So that is the mini album. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love it, I love the colors. I wanna keep it for myself, it's so cute. Um, okay, so then the next thing I did was make a memory decks card, and what I actually did was I took this elephant from the Dollar Tree, and I basically traced it on a piece of paper from Carousel, um, and I, traced it twice on two different papers and I sewed them together to make it sturdier. I just kind of made up this little stand here. Um, it's just meant to mimic like a stand that an elephant would stand on in the circus. So it looks like that. Um, I did make the ear and the tail dimensional. So I just popped that up um, on some foam tape and then it helped me make it a little bit smaller because this is a little bit wider than a regular memory dex. But with the trunk, I just couldn't help it. Um, just Googling a couple pictures on the internet, I came up with these little embellishments here, um, a little hat and a little, um, a little back like blanket. Um, so I just did that. I added some trim. I added some sequins to it to just kind of dress it up. Added a little flower down here just because I felt like it needed something. Got a lot of stitching on here on the bottom. Added a couple buttons. Um, on the back, I added a tail and an ear. Um, just back to this so it was a little sturdier as well. Added my information here. Um, so that will go along as the memory dex card. Um, tonight I was working on just some um, of the embellishments that you have to do two, I think two different embellishments. So I made some ice cream cones here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, if I'm going to make them into dangles or not. But what I did was take, oh, I don't, I don't think I have another example of it, but these were on a headband from Dollar Tree. It looked like this. So it was all teal and there was the two um, yarn balls and then this like tool puff ball and it was on just an elastic band um, in the hair section it was like for a baby a baby like a baby's headband um, so I cut those off the headband and used them just because the colors went so well so I actually have six of those here that I'm gonna share so I'll have to package these somehow I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with those um, then for my last embellishment I think I'm going to send along um, some of these buttons that I made. So I did just print off from the embellishments um, kits. I ordered the four different digital kits for um, embellishments and um, they were on AmericanCrafts.com. I think it, it was, they have a digital collection. So I ordered that and I printed off just some um, fun carousel um, images here and made them into buttons or flare. I didn't add the, I didn't add the um, pin on the back. So I have quite a few of these. So I think I'll send some of these along. Um, I'll share those with my recipient. And then I think I might just put together um, a little maybe embellishment book or something to share um, a couple of the shakers that I made. I'm not exactly sure. I also pulled out this little candy shape 
that I want to put a sequin mix in, so I'll do something like that as well. So um, I'll take you guys along when I end up packaging it up. Um, I'm just kind of working on the contents right now, and then um, I'll pull it all together probably in the next few days so I can uh, send it off to her by the end of this week. So that's it today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.